the South African Communist Party says it believes the roots of corruption go deeper than people think and will be tough to eliminate. The party has questioned the kind of leadership the country has and says some checks and balances, especially at local government level, cause more harm than good. The SACP says it's worried about the state of the country, not only at national level but also at grassroots level where services are not delivered. They are obsessed with uh, 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 regulations that do not respond to the needs of the people and they don't even change those regulations to respond to the needs of the people. And when the people try to do something for themselves, they reject to intervene and to help them in that regard. This is part of the problem. The party also weighed in on the high food prices and the recent petrol price hike. The crisis facing South Africa is a crisis of capitalism. It's not the crisis of the ANC. The problem with the ANC is that it has accepted responsibility to preside over a chaotic capitalist system, uh, which of course we needed to have created uh, a, an alternative to this kind of a situation. As we speak, there are more resources in this country that can avert this crisis. Mapaila says, even though they believe in the alliance partnership, the Communist Party remains concerned about the reality of the ANC dipping below 50% of the vote. We are concerned about this matter ourselves, um, um, that deliberation forces are now to be defeated by reactionary forces that are all coming together um, to actually bring the ANC and its allies below 50%. When the ANC is defeated below 50, we are also defeated below 50, because that's what it means. But now the issue is, is the ANC, when will the ANC wake up? We have put proposals on the table. Uh, they want to cross the line, uh, enter the race and cross the line and get defeated and then say, yes, you told us. The SACP Secretary General further says, as much as the mushrooming of political parties good for democracy, the new organizations that have registered to contest are still lacking when it comes to policies they have and how they are going to implement them. Mapaila says, his concern is that the focus is only on unseating the ANC. There's nothing new, nothing tangible that comes out, out of this part, uh, political parties as solutions uh, for the crisis that we face uh, in the country. It's a combination um, of uh, parties that articulate capitalist ideas, that ideas that have already failed South African society. And therefore, we don't see many of those coming with a different alternative. Of course, they come with a, an alternative to the extent that uh, people can express themselves freely. The Communist Party is currently holding its three-day Central Committee plenary meeting, where, amongst others, it will iron out its approach to the upcoming elections and advocating for the ANC to be given another chance by South Africans. Once, uh, SABC News, the Johannesburg. News.